Quentin Tarantino is not only the greatest living filmmaker, he's speaking the truth also. Before I get started, I'd like to kindly ask that you hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Pretty please, with sugar on top. A couple of weeks back, I made a video about Quentin Tarantino's recent comments about him possibly thinking about quitting before his 10th film. In a recent interview with Bill Maher, however, he has kind of backtracked on that. So we are most likely getting his 10th film, which I, of course, am very happy about because, let's be honest, if he made a hundred movies, I'd watch every single fucking one of them. Whoa, whoa. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. The guy is an absolute genius, and there is no one on his level right now, even with him being this late in his career. What I'd really like to talk about, though, is when Quentin was asked in this interview about modern movie criticism. And he talked about how sometimes people question why he does things in his movies the way that he does them, and why he doesn't do it the way that they think it should be done. And his response to that was basically, you can't do what I do. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. And that's about the only way you can answer someone who has the absolute gall to question Quentin Tarantino about his directing or his writing decisions. But this led into his next point, which was about how ideologies have become more important than art. And here's where it gets really good. He makes it seem as if in most modern cinema, ideology trumps art. It trumps effort. It even trumps goodwill. He goes on to say that ideologies now trump entertainment as a whole. You see, this is why I love Quentin. Not only does he make great movies, but he gets it. He knows what's important and what makes a movie good. Even if most other people in Hollywood are absolutely clueless about that right now. Check out the big brain on Brad. This is something that I've preached from day one on this channel. I don't care about your ideologies, and no rational thinking person does. What we care about is how you entertain us. Bill Maher adds to this by saying there's only two types of movies that get made anymore. Ones that virtue signal and superhero movies. And holy shit did he hit the nail right on the head. Those are the two things that plague modern cinema right now and make it hard for me to enjoy anything. Quentin expands on this idea as they continue to converse, and he talks about how these things typically come in waves. And how all throughout history, the type of films that were being created were typically a reflection of the society they were created in, for better or for worse. So I would say if you live in a world where people don't value deep and meaningful storytelling and just aren't interested in anything thought-provoking, this is why superhero movies and virtue signaling movies are a thing right now, because those types of movies don't require you to use your brain. That makes sense. They're movies designed for instant gratification and validation to the audiences that they are targeting. If you're a fan of that, then that's fine. But the problem is, is that you have people like Quentin Tarantino, Martin Scorsese, David Fincher, who still believe in the entertainment aspect of movies, in addition to the art side of movies. They still believe in putting effort into everything that they create. And honestly, right now, those people are getting overlooked in favor of popcorn movies. Now, there's nothing wrong with popcorn movies. They've always existed, and I like a lot of them. But the problem is, is that they're dominating the market right now. And sometimes, if you're like me, you just want something a little bit deeper. I don't know, at the end of the day, you just kind of want something that's just a little deeper, really. Yeah, yeah buzz deeper. Even the art house films, which are supposed to be deeper, are now being designed as agenda platforms rather than what they used to be about, and that was doing more with less. And if you don't believe me, just look at how the Oscars are now structured. You have to fill quotas before you can even be considered for an Oscar. That, my friends, is what happens when it's not about the art form anymore. Quentin Tarantino, for instance, has never made a bad film, in my opinion, and he's arguably made three masterpieces. And you know what? He has zero Best Picture or Best Director Oscars under his belt. Why is that? Because his movies don't fit in with modern ideologies, which is unironically why I like them so much. But by him just mentioning this, it's become very clear that Hollywood has a real problem here. This is why they have such a difficult time creating memorable movies that stand the test of time. When it comes right down to it, they're just focused on the wrong things. They've always been about making money, but that's all it's about anymore. There's no artistic integrity whatsoever to speak of in Hollywood right now. 
I'd buy that for a dollar. Bill and Quentin also talk about the golden age of cinema in the 60s and the 70s, when we were getting movies that define the art form and are just as relevant today as the day they were released. Is anyone going to remember Kong vs. Godzilla in 20 years? I know I won't. I forgot about it about five minutes after I watched it. Oh, I got a live one here. <laughs> Quentin's movies, however, from 1992 to 2021 are still being talked about and will continue to be talked about long after all of us are gone. That's what I want for cinema. I want cinema to be memorable again. Quentin says that this comes in waves. Well, honestly, I hope he's right because I want a huge tsunami to come along right now and wipe away all this garbage that we've been getting the past few years. So we can, in fact, start a new golden age of cinema and we need people like Quentin Tarantino at the front of the line to lead the charge into a new era. Jesus fucking Christ, it's about time! So let me know what you thought about all this in the comments down below. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time right here on Real Shift. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Y'all be cool. Got up.